Uh, I'd like to call our uh, public session to order. So, um, first item on our agenda is uh, item number two. So, the approval of our minutes from November 3rd, 2015. Can I get a motion to approve those minutes? Yes. Do I need a motion to? I have a motion to call our meeting to order. I just called it to order. Are these the minutes that we're going to? No, these are the open session oh, yeah, meetings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll move. Okay, so. Yeah, I approve. Okay. Yeah. Anne Marie, anyone opposed? Okay, so uh, item number three is the adoption of the agenda. Are there any additions to the agenda? Yes. Okay, Anne Marie? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, um, I would like to um, bring forth, uh, we have been discussing uh, for some time uh, why our seventh member of uh, the St. John Police Commission okay. um, has not been confirmed and we don't have that person here. Okay, so we'll add that to the yeah. agenda as I uh, nine. And I'll nine speak on it. Is that general or is that term? item 10? Right, I'll add that as 10. Um, to uh, get an update on uh, our seventh board member. Okay, any other additions to the agenda? Well, there was a couple that are probably longer than that. We were supposed to talk about the results, I think it was almost a year ago now, of a ride along. Yes, okay. I mean, never, yep. Ever. Yep. I think we've been waiting to have our full compliment yeah. here. <laughs> so I think we should add that in uh, in January um, okay. because we would certainly want um, want the mayor to share his experience in the ride along uh, really? in public session. So we'll uh, we'll make sure that we can we can do that. Just on that point, yeah. just because some of us did them so long ago, I yeah. wonder if that's going to be if we're going to table to that. Which I agree. I think we should should we look at setting a goal to do another one? Yeah. Because the things have changed. Yes, since, that's like, true. For yeah. us, like for the three of us specifically, or four of us, when we did ours, things were very different a year and a half ago from now. Okay. Okay, so let's add right along to our agenda then yeah. tonight. Yeah, and maybe set a, yeah. Okay. I'm too old to stay up all night, you know that. <laughs> do a day show. Do a day. Okay, you don't need to do a night show. Yeah. All right, so we'll add, uh, so two items uh, up to this point. So an update on our, um, uh, board member appointment and uh, ride along. Uh, anything else to add to the agenda? Did we have a, budget. yeah. Yeah, so, so, approval of yeah, so the uh, 2016 budget approval. Any other additions? Uh, I don't know if this is an addition or something. Uh, something is, I've been thinking about for a while is uh, the, the role of the commission. Okay. Basically, what I'm thinking about there is that I don't, I've been on the commission for about a year and a half, and I don't feel that the commission is being used to its fullest. Okay. You know, it just seems that we're in here saying yay, nay, and vote yes or no. So it's, uh, I don't know if you want to have a discussion on it at the end of the, uh, put it on the agenda or just talk about it. Okay. Um, I mean, you know, kind of set it off was, was the, the meeting the other day that we didn't know about it and mm. so on and so forth. But I mean, I just feel that we should be more involved in some of the decisions. Mm -hmm. I mean, you only think, I shouldn't say we haven't because actually the, when you hired uh, the chief of police, I think it was one and only time that the commission actually worked together and met at different times. And, you know, it just seems like I, I come here for an hour and once a month and go home. Okay. I mean, not saying I want a whole bunch of work. Yeah, so what I I'd recommend, I think that's, a, that's good feedback, but I yeah. think uh, it would be something that we'd all want to be prepared to discuss, yeah, maybe. Okay. So maybe we can add that to a January and everybody can yeah. bring their ideas forward. <coughs> Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, um, anything else to add to the agenda for tonight? Okay, so um, me. item number four, are there any uh, members with conflict of interest with the, the items on the agenda? Okay, 
Then noted. Okay, so um, our consent agenda. So item uh, 5.1 <coughs> is the 2016 meeting schedule. So this is a recommended schedule to approve and that's on page 39 of our large packet. <coughs> so we just need to look through that. So a um, couple of points to note there on the proposed schedule. So um, the January meeting is about a week later than what we would typically have, I think, because um, with the holiday. Um, and then our February is the second Tuesday as opposed to the first Tuesday, really uh, so that it gives us a little more time in between those two meetings. Otherwise, we'd be meeting two weeks apart. Um, and the March meeting is uh, after March break. We could do it March 1st, but again, we're kind of um, right in there. And some people tend to have their March uh, vacations early in March anyway. So the 15th is, is uh, proposed. Um, and then the only other one that's a little bit off the normal would be uh, the Wednesday. And typically, this happens with our September meeting. So it's a Wednesday instead of a Tuesday because council meets on Tuesday that week because of Labor Day. So um, can I get a motion to approve the schedule? Okay, Jennifer. Seconded by John. Is that opposed? Okay, great. So we have our schedule. <coughs> Item 5.2, which is on page 41, <coughs> is an invitation to the DARE graduation. So typically we would have um, as many members of the police commission as possible. It's always a great event. and. Uh, to show our support. So I know um, Anne-Marie said she could go and anyone else who can? Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, Brian, be there. that'll be great. So uh, December 10th at 10 a.m. Okay, so uh, can I get a motion to receive and file the invitation? So moved. Okay, John, seconded by Anne-Marie. Anyone opposed? Okay, item, uh, oh, sorry. So uh, we don't have any presentations or committee reports. Um, or uh, is this where we would put those additions in, in the uh, item eight issues separated from the consent agenda? Or do we add those? To the, I have added them. To the You're busy. Add, add them to the end. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, so item nine point one, uh, which is on page forty three of your report. Uh, that's the internal monthly report. So, Chief, do you want to walk us through that? Thank you, Madam Chair. The internal monthly report is before you uh, for the month of November. We had one uh, public complaint that's been classified as a service complaint. Six complimentary correspondence, uh, pieces of complimentary correspondence were received, and no grievances from the association. Okay, so can I get a motion to uh, receive and file that report? Motion. <coughs> Uh, seconded by Jennifer. Anyone opposed? Okay, so item 9.2 is a uh, verbal update from Anne Marie on the uh, New Brunswick Police Commission uh, meeting. So the uh, meeting that you had. Can you uh, us an update on that? Yes. Um, um, Staff Inspector. Um, Staff Sergeant. Sorry. Staff <laughs> Inspector Parks. <laughs> Um, Parks and myself uh, went down to Fredericton um, because uh, there were uh, there was 30 recommendations sent out by the New Brunswick Police Commission uh, to uh, involve people, uh, chiefs of police, um, boards, municipalities. Uh, there were 20 people active there. Um, and we spent a morning there because we had to come back. And they, uh, the people who stayed were, there were 12. And when we received these recommendations uh, probably about a month and a half ago and went over them. And uh, the 12 that stayed representing uh, the different parts of New Brunswick with the New Brunswick Police Commission uh, chairing uh, discuss this and uh, 
the recommendations and they came to conclusions and today i was able to get and receive from the new jersey police commission the recommendations that the twelve people who stayed had recommended for changes in the police act um so now what we're doing is going over these to see the recommendations that they have put forth and there will be ten more because there's only twenty being addressed in this package and the new jersey police commission will bring forth fairly soon probably before christmas the other ten so that we could look at and that's the update that we have with the new brunswick police commission and it's all changes to the new brunswick police act which needs some changes and as a result of that we're very happy to be able to put our input into this okay great thank you so can i get a motion to receive and file the recommendations and uh yeah so okay okay thank you emory thank you for taking the time to do that um okay item 9.3 on page 44 of your packet is the overtime and court expenses year to date so this is uh year to date october 2015. um so chief do you want to go through this or i can or we're prepared to report yes i mean this is a report you see every month now so the format hasn't changed uh, for the uh, month of October, uh, with respect to overtime, uh, we were uh, about $47,000 over budget. Uh, and year to date, uh, same uh, with overtime, we're $156,000, almost $157,000 over budget. On the second page of the report, it outlines court time. And for the month of October, uh, we're about $21,000 over yeah. budget. <coughs> and year to date, uh, for court time, uh, we're just over seventy thousand uh, dollars over budget. It's, recommend, it's uh, recommended this report be received and filed. Certainly, if there's any questions, I'll try to answer them. Questions, Joe? Uh, okay. So, what's the um, underlying cause for the overtime? Is it staffing? Well, certainly yes. Uh, when we get to the, the other report on utilization, you'll see that uh, we've had uh, many shifts in. 2015, we had a backfill because of shortage of staff. And that's contractual obligations? That's correct. Uh, with uh, with our contract, with the exception of Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, uh, we have 10 people working, and on those evenings we have to have 12. And we go below that number, we're required to hire on overtime and backfill to get up that threshold. And that's what you would have seen happen during the course of this year. So is that is that for public safety or is that for hospital safety as well? Um, certainly the chief and deputy speaks of us both. Both. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, and, and minimum staffing numbers are not unique. Having minimum staffing numbers, on, uh, particularly on frontline patrol, is not unique to St. John or New Brunswick. I mean, that's, that minimum staffing numbers are something that are, is uh, ubiquitous to the whole policing community. So it's as beneficial to the organization as it is to the officers on the street, basically. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, for people. We, right. we still have to respond to calls for service, and we have to respond to calls in, in adequate numbers, depending on the call and, and depending on the volume. And that's why you see an increase in the minimum numbers on weekends, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, where our, our case, our call loads are traditionally heavier. Thank you. Henry, do you have a question? Oh, okay. just, well, you're just <coughs> just flexing my muscle. <laughs> okay, thank you. Any other questions? Okay. All right. Can I get a motion to receive and file the report? Okay. Uh, Anne Marie, seconded. Okay, Jennifer, anyone opposed? Okay, so moved. All right, so uh, item 9.4 is um, on page 46. So this is the utilization. So this is the uh, the number of hours, right? Hours or shifts? Both. Both. Combinations of both. Great. Okay. I think Marvin kind of touched on it. Yes. In the previous question. Yeah. And again, without 
going through it. Right. What I would highlight is the number of shifts that we had to back. Yes. So uh, that's important uh, for the board to realize that at the end of October, uh, we've uh, identified almost 360 12 hour shifts we had to backfill to get to that minimum number that Commissioner uh, uh, McKenzie is referring to. And in comparison to previous years, uh, at the end of 2015, uh, when we compare 2014, that number would almost double. So like 200. Already. Mm -hmm. right. Probably 400 at, at a minimum. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> that goes back to staffing shortages uh, on the platoons. Uh, so that's how we address the, the minimum numbers is through paying for overtime. It's not a preference, but it's a requirement. I so don't think there's a mechanism for tracking this, but just a question. Um, is it becoming respectively more difficult then to backfill these shifts? Like, because if you're doubling the amount of time in a year that you're requiring people to come in for extra duties, I'm assuming that it's becoming more difficult. Inspector Parks, let me know because I've, I've personally seen this case manager who's decided to work some stations, spend hours trying to get bodies to come in on that. And our shifts have, and so, yeah, I mean, our shifts have gone up. Our um, number of members on patrol have gone down in the year. So it's really, uh, it's simple math. I think the, yes, I John. think, and I wouldn't hold it to exact numbers, but I think yeah. the deputy's got some numbers probably at the top of his head with regard yeah, to well, yeah. Yeah. columns over the last several years. Yeah. Four years ago, it was around 82, and then it went to 146. And shifts? Two, yes. Wow. Two, Four years ago, we were at 82 shifts. Well, for the year. And then now this year, it's going to be over 400. Right. So, so we're asking our members to come mm -hmm. in on their days off, which are meant to That's right. give them the rest in between because they're doing the night shift. And so that would make sense. They're, they're not well, as willing to, to come in. Yeah. Ideally, you should have people with 12 hour shift wanting to come in and, you know, right. it's nice to get the extra. Exactly. Uh, but the fatigue but would be setting in, I would imagine. Yes. Yeah. The other thing that I see is an influx of uh, refugees that we're going to be getting here in St. John, that along with the our, our citizens themselves feeling secure, uh, I'm sure that uh, they want to feel secure as well, because I think that's very important. We will be doing uh, outreach through our community service unit uh, to try and mitigate any negative issues that may and hopefully they'll be done and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very optimistic that uh, their arrival here in our community is going to be seamless and they're going to be kind of valued members of the community. Good. Thank you. Okay, so uh, if there are no other questions, I'll um, ask for a motion to receive and file the overtime utilization. So moved. Okay, John and Marie, anyone opposed? Okay, <coughs> so moved. All right. So we are um, at item 9.5, and this is our 2015 operating budget, um, August financial results. So, Marvin? Actually, if I could, we, yep. at the last board meeting, we covered this off. And yes. We were really at the stage, right. uh, this has become a public document. Yes. Uh, really, this evening, it would be a matter of uh, the board approving the document, okay. and we've already sent a copy I, yeah. of <laughs> okay, great. So can I get a motion to approve the... Uh, uh, I get, I'll give you a motion yes, to approve. Anne-Marie, second. Okay, Jennifer, anyone opposed? Okay, so moved. And uh, so same thing with item 9.6, which is the um, operating budget for the PSCC. So mm -hmm. can uh, any questions on that? Okay, oh, move to uh, approve it and a second to approve it. Yeah, second. Second. John, anyone opposed? Okay, so moved. So those are um, those are approved. <coughs> okay, so then we have our um, additional uh, agenda items. So the next <coughs> step would be um, requesting an update on our uh, board member appointment that's been open for a year, close to a year. Close to a year. Yeah. Um, I think through the chair, I would like to uh, put forth to um, Councillor McKenzie to bring it forth to Council 
that we have been, as a board, uh, wanting and asking for the seventh uh, commission person. And uh, as of today, we still don't have it. And uh, I know for a fact that uh, it's been about a year, close to it anyway, that we've been re requesting this. And according to the Police Act, it states, where a council refuses or fails to appoint a member of a board within 60 days after being given notice by the minister to do so, the minister may, notwithstanding subsection 4, appoint such member to the board, and such member shall be deemed to have been appointed under paragraph 4C, which states that one or more persons appointed by the council who are ordinary residents and municipality but who are not members of council. So, I think we need to address this now. Uh, it's come to our attention that uh, a couple of meetings that we've had, that it ended up that we didn't have a quorum. And this is not acceptable. And I don't know what the excuse is for council for not bringing this forth earlier. However, there it is in the Police Act. So if it's not done within 60 days, then the minister themselves, that department, can go ahead and appoint somebody. So I think in future, that council has to take that into consideration. Uh, and so I'm giving it to you, John McKenzie, to bring that forth and in open session and uh, so that people know that we just don't have. And I think it's very important now that we have our quota because there are important things coming up. We've had important things, and we haven't had it for mm -hmm. sometimes. Okay. Thank you. So can I uh, ask for a motion to have uh, Councilor McKenzie bring that back to council? Okay. <laughs> and we'll ask Brian to do it. And a second. Jennifer, anyone opposed? Okay, thank you. We look forward to your update, Councilor McKenzie. The person. <laughs> we want the person. Hopefully the person yeah, comes no for your update. No excuse. Well, I hope. Excellent. I hope the person's here next month. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, okay, so our next uh, item on the agenda um, to discuss uh, ride-alongs. So, uh, Brian, did you want to... Yeah, well, I heard Jennifer, about it. just bring that forward. I know that yeah. I think it's something that we've been tabling for a while. Yes. But I think given that, God willing, we'll have a seventh member. Yes. Or maybe Santa will bring a seventh member. <laughs> <laughs> um, that maybe be something to consider that we set a target for us to have each done maybe another ride along okay. and that at that meeting we do discuss before it. our next meeting is that what you're thinking or? no not like i think give us oh. some time to do it but like okay. if we want to discuss it i don't know like february or okay. march and then that will give our new member who will yeah hopefully be there i don't know whatever everybody thinks is reasonable to yeah. do well I, to get I, out. I think march or february is perfectly reasonable yeah. it's just a Next time, I don't want the handcuffs on the back seat. I want to be up front. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So can I ask for a motion um, then to have uh, each member, and we'll make sure this is in the notes as well, and we'll send this out to um, uh, Mayor Norton so he's aware as well for the, um, uh, let's say the February meeting, because yeah. that gives us yeah. some time here. Uh, uh, January, the month of January is a little bit slower for most people, so hopefully we can get out in January um, to have uh, one more ride along. And uh, if anyone hasn't done it, then that'll yeah. be your, your ride along. And then we will provide updates in February. Perfect. Okay? We should go in a major snow, snowstorm. Yeah, we should. Bring a shovel. <laughs> yeah. We should, yes. That would be great. Yeah, we'll try to work around the snow schedule. Okay, so. Um, a motion to have everyone uh, go ahead and report in February. So Jennifer, second and Jeff, John, everyone opposed? Okay, thank you. Um, and uh, the final item that was added uh, is our 2016 budget approval. All right. Uh, the, the budget has been discussed at, at length uh, by, mm -hmm. by the board uh, in previous meetings. Uh, and so, what I'd be looking for, looking for is a board motion approving the uh, 2016 uh, St. John Police Force operating budget 
to be at the same amount that it was for 2015, and that the amount would be 24 million 269 thousand 759 dollars. Okay. I'll put a motion through. Okay. For a zero percent increase and a second. <coughs> for anyone opposed? Okay. So moved. Thank you, and thank you for all your hard work on that. Well, through this budget moved. process. I'd love to take credit for it, but I can tell you that it was uh, staff, <laughs> and in particular Marvin and his good folks that put in a lot of team up a lot of good work. Right? <laughs> Spoken like a true professional. Thank you. Um, okay, so I think that uh, that's our agenda for tonight. So can I get a motion to adjourn our uh, public session? Anne Marie, Jennifer, anyone opposed? Okay. Thank okay.